And now students here in this part, we are going to discuss what again we have a speed time graph and the second important thing from the speed time graph is you can calculate acceleration of a moving object in the previous lesson children we have discussed from the speed time graph you can calculate what children you can calculate distance now the second important thing about the speed time graph is you my dear children can calculate acceleration what is the acceleration of the moving object you, you can see the importance of this graph you can calculate acceleration but what is the method to calculate acceleration from the speed time graph now let me show you this graph children Yeah, this one here, children. Finding acceleration from a speed time graph. Observe this graph, children. Please observe. And the question is, you have to find acceleration. Suppose this question is there in your exams. You write your IGCSE exam, children. And this graph, as it is, the same type of graph is there. And question is, you have to find acceleration. Uh, Kavisha, can you tell me how would you find acceleration from this graph? Just say, can uh, you? Mm -hmm. Difference in speed. Okay, I couldn't hear you properly, uh, Kavisha. Thank you. Uh, now, children, listen carefully and note it down. By finding how to calculate acceleration from the speed time graph, you need to calculate of the graph. Please note it, note it down. Gradient, gradient of a line, gradient of a line. If you are able to find the gradient, if you are able to find the slope of a line. You will be able to calculate acceleration and gradient i already told you already explained how to calculate so let me take in this graph i want to calculate gradient so again i will take i can take two points any two points on this graph children but for simplicity i am taking that the starting point and the end point children starting an end point I, and I will do some construction and I need to complete this triangle, this one joining to the 40 cycle. I need to calculate gradient. Gradient is given by, let me write the equation, rise over run children. What is rise here? What is the y value children? What is this length? What is this length? How much is this length children? If you see this is with the help of scale children with the help of ruler you just match this and you will find this is eight eight minus zero zero is what this point children, along the y-axis because you have to calculate high minus low this much less divided by run run along the run we have the time and so again highest value is 40 lowest value is zero so 40 minus zero you need to put here and then after that, I can write here 8 divided by 4, 0, 40. And if you do the calculation, 4 to the 8, and then 2 by 10, 2 by 10 means uh, 0 0.2. Point two. what is this 0 0.2, children? 0 0.2 is meter per second square is acceleration. Actually, how would I say this is acceleration? If you recall, what is this 8 minus 0? 8 minus 0 is change in velocity. Change in velocity. And in the denominator 40 minus 0, what we, I have taken here at the time. So change in velocity divided by time that is equal to acceleration. So it means gradient. Let me write like this: gradient of a speed time graph will give you acceleration. It will give you acceleration. So I have done with the topic that I want to discuss with the children. Let's do some questions that you can 
understand these topics what we have discussed in today's class example number 3 children oh, already they have i have i have done the same question 8 by 40.2 point 2 meter per second space acceleration let's see is there any other question yeah there are four another questions now here children question number 1 Now, children, just please pay attention on question number one. Just leave other information. Come to question number one. Read carefully. Do it by yourself, children. Question is the figure below shows the speed time graph for the first four seconds. Yes. What does the sloping line between zero and two seconds represent? Okay. Let me ask this question to zero to two seconds, children. this line and this question is for hmm. satvik sharma can you predict what is this line um they were like running they are running okay getting zero to like accelerating yeah after are... that they like took a rest yeah from the zero to 2 second that that it's a mcq question i think they have mentioned some options uh, they said uh, first option is is this about the constant acceleration or constant velocity or a stationary object and i think the fourth option will be there let me scroll it down no uniform acceleration so what option you find correct acceleration is there but what type of acceleration children that the answer you can see here it is a constant acceleration because it is a straight line it is a straight line children then second point second point is the same graph children what part of the graph below indicates the distance traveled children now children graph is given but you have to interpret graph and the information question is which part of the what part of the graph indicates distance children options if you see options are area under the line gradient of the line length of the line and highest speed reading of the line four options are there to find distance children what i told you refer anvita das both of you to find the distance in a speed time graph what do you need to calculate anvita Anvita, are you here? Yes, sir. Yeah, just tell me. Just please immediately respond. You take so much time, children. You know. Question is that this question number two. What part of the graph below indicates distance traveled? How would you calculate distance from the speed time graph? Jasmine. Ah, uh, the distance is the area that is. Underneath the line. Yeah. To calculate distance, children, I think you are not listening. I think you are sleeping. You know, you are in a sleeping mode. You are not responding. Already informed you. Already taught, and still you are not unable to give answers. Distance. How would you calculate distance from the speed time graph? The simple answer is you need to calculate area. You need to calculate area, children. Where is this information? I explain this point here. finding distance traveled from a speed time graph where is that information you we calculate the area under the line you have to remember children then you will get full marks in your exams otherwise your marks will be less as per your yesterday's test some students has got four marks some has got five marks it means you are not paying attention you are not paying attention in class discussion children you are not participating in that's why your marks are now what i want to take one more question children and uh, yes in question number 3 and i hope i will get answer from all of you the graph below shows how the speed of an object changing during a period of 4 second calculate the distance traveled from 0 to 4 seconds you need to calculate children distance 0 to 4 
अर्जुन हाउ विल यू डू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस Okay. As children, you know you have to calculate distance, so it is clear you have to calculate area, area under the line. Now we have two lines, the one and the second, one and second children. So you have to use your mathematical skill. If I can find first the area of this part, that is a triangle, and the second part here, this is a rectangle. So rectangle, or then you can add both the both the areas and you will get the final answer so let me do it for you children i'm going to get the area of triangle first area of triangle that is equal to half into base i will take two and height is how much of this triangle five minus zero this is five so two cancel by two that this is five meter that is the distance in the second area of uh, the rectangle that is equal to l cross b you know on one side remember this this you will take it's 4 minus 2 don't we get confused children this sometimes student they take uh, this is a complete 4 it's 4 minus 2 and uh, what is this height here again it is 5 so 4 minus 2 is 2 into 5 that is equal to 10 and now the total distance you can add 5 plus 10 that is equal to 15 i got 15 let me check here where Is the answer total area is that is equal to children fifteen meter. So ten plus five fifteen meter. If you are mathematical skill, if you find the, uh, I received one answer from Jennifer. Yes, a half time two two to this same answer, same method. so still there is one question children last question you have to find the acceleration in the first two second children acceleration acceleration is given by by finding the gradient okay you need to find the gradient of this line what is the gradient of this line rise over run i will do fast this question children height is 5 and in the run the base that is 2 5 by 2 that is equal to 2.5 Meter per second square. I know that this is the acceleration, so I will put the unit of acceleration from the gradient of a line in a speed time graph. You can calculate. Yes, Jennifer, very good. Two point five meter per second square is acceleration of this graph. Now, children, we are end with this topic, and in our next class, in next week, we are going to discuss this next topic: free fall motions. And I received one more answer here. the same jennifer 2.5 meter per second square